Well, and Caribou's is just sitting there, too, on the back of the yeah, couch. Hey, you get off the back of the couch. Well, I thought she was supposed to be sitting on your shoulder. I think she does that when you sit on other chairs, but... That insect demon in the background of the uh, sofa is, like, the scariest... Like, I found that thing really unpleasant. I don't know. Yeah. Huh. Although it does look like a comfy love seat slash sofa. I guess it's a sofa. Yes. Oh, hey, folks. This is Bubba the Watcher. Oh, this is Let's Play Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. I guess I'm prejudiced against six-winged uh, demon uh, insects, but I really did find the, the design of that thing not very uh, inviting, I guess you'd say. Okay. Guess you can't duck under that, huh? <laughs> Level up. Or was that the Caribou's? I think it's terribly just got to level that. I'm really glad I got a chance to come back out, boss. It's been a while. I know I don't yell, look out, but I, I thought I was... Uh, well, the, oh, hey, there's a, a giant message from... Uh, Two months have passed! <laughs> The church vanquished the demons, but too much human life had been lost. Once it was found, we had a hand in the affair. My superiors were executed, and the guild left crippled. Alchemy's principle held. We sacrificed everything and gained just as much misery. Only by some miracle was my life spared. Miracle, man! Jeevil did not die in the ritual. He is here. Flanked by demons, he delivers judgment to the alchemy. My own punishment has come, and it will be far worse than the others. To the sharp binders who died at my hands, forgive me. And to you, my dear friend Alfred, I should have listened. May God have mercy on me. Wait, so she's not evil, or that's not her? Because <laughs> I always thought the implication was Alfred was writing those journals, and then I figured, oh, the shocking reveal is it's Dominique, and now I'm like, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Man, you'll be able to make so much curry powder if only you had all of the other ingredients, too. <laughs> it has to jump to get at you. You apparently found a relatively safe way to fight these guys. Yeah, I could farm this guy if it turned out to... Uh... I, I think they drop dragon eggs, which you do need some. Lightning spell, man. I know it's always disappointing when to get that metal fist, but... Short, she, in particular, she seemed to be holding that one with her arms. Oh, it's a void ray. Oh, man, those things are great. Uh, people, I think, overestimate the strength of the uh, Taldarim version, uh, because I've, I've read that the secondary attack doesn't do as much damage, but the void ray, like this straight-up uh, void ray of the Kali Proitas is just really good. Proitas. <laughs> Huh. Alright. Let's go to... Oh. That's it. Yeah. Totally score a victory on that bat. Um, oh, she's about to do another spell, too. I'll let her do it. I thought about it. <laughs> okay. Well, good job. I mean, she is the one familiar that I managed to completely rank up. Right. I mean, she you can give her more levels. I don't really know what that does, but... Yeah. Bloodbringers is <laughs> the one that I love listening to. In the <laughs> it's true. And honestly, as far as trying to get bad guys in hard to reach places, well, yeah, it's not bad.
I'm fine, but I'll kill. Ah, I think this is a thing. It certainly is a thing. Ain't hey, no thing but a chicken wing on a string. It does appear as though I might be well advised to check out ye old Aegis plate here. Oh, and then we just moved into a. Let's put your luck to the test. I'm Vilfar, and I am a giant guy who talks to you about luck. I'm hoping. Are you, you're gonna do something at some point, right? I think his attack pattern is based on you not being on the ceiling and immune to spikes. <laughs> like, it feels like if he was right side up, his thing with the chips would have been Oh yeah, it would have been attack. difficult to deal with. Hey! Stop that! Yeah, I don't think he was. I don't think he was vulnerable during that. Throwing in that lightning every so often might make this go faster. Although you don't seem to be in much danger of losing. <laughs> That didn't really actually seem to uh, help me as much. Okay, I might need to... Uh... Yeah, he's finally starting to hit you there, although your health is still okay. Yes, but i tell you what I might want to oh, do. Oh, no, never mind. I was looking at the wrong meter. You do want to heal, probably. So these are, I've consumed, I don't have anything new to consume. No. Well, no, Wait. scrambled eggs. Let's toss salad and scrambled eggs, and you haven't eaten those yet. Or my egg, egg souffle, souffle or strawberry ole. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. Mm -hmm. Or strawberry ole. Oh, these will enhance my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to eat anything that's going to make my mind better. You had other stuff you hadn't eaten yet, you know? Yeah, it was all for... Like the Omorise whatever? You've already given that to her. You've got one that you made for yourself, but you didn't want to eat. Yes, but they were all just going to increase my magic, and not my luck. Oh, I got full magic right now. I didn't know there was food that didn't increase your life. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. Just keep hitting them in the face. So, you start to wonder whether or not there's a different gimmick to this so that he can take unlimited physical damage and I have to somehow take his money. Um, that seems a bit advanced, but... I think you're just hitting him with a weapon that doesn't work very well against him and he has a lot of hit points. I want to try the old acid spray here, actually. See if you can poison him, because he's got a nice big body that would all be glowing green if it works. Tornado claw. Try him with the uh, old wood jet, too. There you go, it's the acid spray. That was definitely what did it. You gonna give me my money back? All bits are off. All combat is over. Gold bullets. I have an eyes of a center total gold and throw it in the designated direction. No thanks. Uh... Alright, so did he actually take all my... Uh... What enemy was that? Was that the... Uh... Millionaire or whatever? Because that was like an enemy that... Beating one of them unlocks something with Lindsay. 
Well, or there was a millionaire's like key the, uh, or something. Archives. We'll see. Yeah. Sure. No, he was Valefar, excuse me. Or Valak. He might or still no, be. Yeah. Okay. His fortune has waned of late on account of he's dead. Uh, let's go back and uh, steal some blood. Blood steal! I don't think he yeah. bled. He didn't have blood. He only had money in his veins. Oh no, how do I get in here at this giant treasure chest? I think you flip gravity here and drop to the floor. Or not, or it's some kind of trick trap. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe this is your punishment for having beaten him up there. Or this is it. <laughs> What do you know, the secret treasure chest in the room of coin guy has coins. Well, that was fun and cool. Yeah, it was enjoyable. Carabus, familiar Carabus. Oh, I can't believe I'm back. Hey, boss, I got a tactical advice. Why don't you flip on the ceiling so the dragon can't get you? Blood steel. Yeah, watch this poor silly dragon, son of a bitch. Now I gotta jump up to hit you sporadically. <laughs> By the way, have you met my cousin Morty? <laughs> I don't think I ever did this. You have, uh, you have two of them now. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it's uh, me and my uh, cousin Sally. How you doing, Sally? I'm doing all right. Yeah, you told me your boss was a real nice lady, and then she never called us. Yeah, and she's been busy. I don't blame her. She's kind of hanging out with that, that you know, that, that, that uh, night guy won her over with this whole uh, lookout gimmick. Dragon egg, dragon egg, dragon egg. <gasps> Dragon's dragon, grass, dragon, that's not dragon. an egg. You get out of here, giant frogs. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> I was attracted by these two double hammer heads, baby. I mean, who isn't attracted to these two double hammer heads? I, I remember finding this this whole section was a bit uh, tedious. I was kind of ready for the giant rooms to be over with before they were yeah, over. Yeah, I I could see that. I mean, it's, it it looks neat, but it's not that much fun to play. You got, got too much ground, ground to cover yeah. between things that happen. Yeah, for sure. In the meantime, we're like, what if I kill that red moon in the background? Will I get sent to an even more mysterious place? <laughs> Hey, we just whacked a giant bat for you, boss. I think I'll never testify. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, go back this way and get myself turned around, as it were. Because <laughs> Miriam's been involved in so many organized crime activities, you know. She's been running the slots. That, that's why we had to go whack that uh, Veliar guy. He was, uh, he was a bookie, a crooked bookie. He was supposed to be working for us, but he started trying to pocket too much cash. Including directly from you. <laughs> ah, giant Should ass mule. Have a new one? Oh, what? You can what? have a mule work for you. All right, you two. Just wait a second, but not after all. No. <laughs> I know. You, you just came up with a new gimmick and everything. 
I gotta see what happens when Boor is uh, wheeling around with me here. Rolling, 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 rolling. What if? Rolling, 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 rolling. Come on. Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Yes, unfortunately, Buell is a huge Trump supporter. <laughs> hey, any thoughts on why you killed a giant Buell and you were given a small Buell as an assistant? <laughs> this interview is over. <laughs> I'm sorry, did we offend the uh, Buell? <laughs> I, I thought I was being the Buell asking the question. <laughs> Bloodsteel, by the way. <laughs> oh, I hear. <laughs> I, I, I thought this was, was like a uh, gotcha style <laughs> situation. <laughs> the, the gimmick of all familiars has become a, a, say bloodsteel occasionally. <laughs> that thing's doing good damage for a level one familiar. This thing knows what's up. And that's why ah. I teleported into the ceiling. <laughs> I know what's up. What's up? What's up? People always say what's up. If you hear me, say what's up. No, sorry, it's people over here. What's up? If you feel me, say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? And then occasional variation is to then say the golden truth, but I guess that's been over for a while. I wonder what was off to the left side of that room that has like an unexplored left side. <laughs> Best treasure in the game, and it's like 20 minutes behind us now. You want to just take a peek at what the next area is to satisfy my curiosity, or...? Because uh, the door for the next area was, like, right there. Oh, I know. I just try to finish looking through this whole... Uh... Oh, yeah. No, we don't want to go... We don't want to do a deep dive into it. I'm just... I'm trying to remember if it's what I think it is or if there's another one I've forgotten. Over to the right. I just want to see. I'm gonna if go. I just want to finish exploring the room. But, <laughs> but you've cycled back and forth between these two rooms like three times now. Yes, but I only this time through got back to the last part. When you have to fall back and forth to do it, sometimes it takes a little bit extra effort. Stay away on my pose. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's what I thought. This is the last area of the game. And you just left the Buell behind. <laughs> Let's see if there's a save point anywhere nearby. I, know, I think the save point you just came to is probably the... Uh, came from is probably the closest, but... What we haven't found in a minute is a teleport room. Also true. Man, this place is cold. <laughs> it's cold up. I, f I did, like, I guess I shouldn't have mentioned this is the last place. This felt like a really weird place to be the final area, because it very much feels like, oh, obligatory oh. ice area. It doesn't oh, feel another, final yeah. area to me at all. Keep waiting for there to be, like, uh... A big long pitfall with these uh, floating platforms that shoot at you and you have to hop across them. You don't want to read my words? What's going on here, everybody? No. Crescent Stroke. Stroke. Oh, if I was using some... That's a great thing to teach us like 95% of the way through the game. A brand new technique. 
95, only 91. Well, I mean, I'm talking about the main game, not all the cool side content you could have done. I think you want to go to the left to find the exits, possibly. I might be wrong. I mean, to find uh, to the right, sorry, to find uh, save rooms and shit. It's like moving left, sort of left and down is moving you towards the very end of the game. All right. Like, because I think you're, you're vaguely, you're trying to find a save room to get back to uh, the, the town, right? Save our teleport room, just... Yeah. Okay. Oh, there you go. That, no, I, was, I, had a, I didn't remember this, but I had a strong feeling it was directly to the right of that bookshelf, and you started going the other way. So, Twin Dragons, Mucho Smocho. Promise me you'll stop Jeevil. Oh, by the way, I'm still back at the. Uh... <laughs> Promise me you. I keep thinking there's a Jeevil. Like, whoa, there's an enemy in this room. Should we stop by and say hi to Dominique? <laughs> yeah. You left behind a treasure? Oh my! That could have been incredibly important loot. Have you learned anything new? What have you turned up on the monsters? Here's what I've turned up have you dug up any dirt on these monsters? So we have not defeated the uh, Demon Lord, although they are in this last area, I think. Okay. I guess that guy wasn't Millionaire's Bane. No, he wasn't. He was. Now, you found something called Millionaire's Key. Yes, and I remember where that's supposed to be used. Oh, cool. That could wrap up our session, maybe. It's up to you. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while. I've been worried. Um, oh, I'd like a video and a half here. ago, friend. <laughs> what are we transmuting this time? I've learned the truth about your slumber, Miriam. As I suspected... It was Alfred's doing. His boring stories. <laughs> what? Huh? What? Why did Alfred choose me? He cho cho chose you. To create a catalyst capable of stopping time must have taken years upon years. If only he had been able to somehow stop time in order to do it. <laughs> he only had time to save one of you. But why me then? I probably flipped a coin, you know. Because. You were the most attuned. Also, he thought you were cuter than Gable was. Tom Getsu said the same thing. <laughs> Me two are so alike. To put it a different way, if all the crystal of all the Shardbinders had been brought together to create one big catalyst, then your power would have accounted for half of it. You're that much better than us. I'm not sure if that's something to be proud of. It's not. You're a terrible person. With half the catalyst's power missing, Alfred knew the experiment would fail. Blood would be spilled, but at least the world would have some chance of being able to stop the demons. Because the alchemists were trying to summon Bale. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, the fact that they only summoned a bunch of demons that killed, like, the neighboring town or two was a success, but only from Alfred's point of view. Granted, even half the Shardbinder's power caused unthinkable tragedy. Mm-hmm. I would tell you about it, but I can't seem to focus my mind on it. Yes, it did. Very tired. I want so much so that I don't have closing punctuation. But Alfred must have realized the experiment was going to proceed regardless of our objections, and decided half measures were better than no measures at all. Ah, uh, see, he never watched that one episode of Breaking Bad, where the guy about the magnets. Yeah, no, about the magnets. Yes, <laughs> where we broke into the bank uh, truck with a. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, sure. That's... It sounds as though you found a little forgiveness for him. Yes, well, that's just me being a failure. You should be really angry at him. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm still here. Let's go see what Dominique has to say. What, what the? Huh? I still, still want about... strawberry crepe! <laughs> You're still thinking about crepes, Whatever lady. else is happening. Buell's like, I don't like you here. Hello, miss. Huh. No Dominique? 
She seems to have left for some unknown reason. Right before leaving, she told me her evil plan. Would you like to buy that information? Uh, well, she said she had something to take care of. I'm holding down the fort while she's gone. <laughs> oh, good girl. But who will handle these shots for me? Oh, I could totally do it. Oh, oh don't worry. She me how to do oh, I can it. absorb your demonic power, miss. <laughs> Enchantment. Enchantment. I kind of thought. That sounds horribly unsafe. I'd much rather give them to Dominique, who is clearly evil. I'd rather she have my demonic power. That's not what that says. If you don't believe me. So yeah, the shop mechanic functions the same with a new shop runner. Oh, what would you like to buy? Yeah. So we didn't actually use that many uh, no. edibles. No, that's why we're we're so sharp and focused right now. Yes. All right. So let's see about using Le Millionaire's key. They sex gods. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, I'm here. Uh, other side of the Garden of Silence here. Could be a key that we can only reach with. I think I've decided what kind of personality Buell's gonna have. Now we didn't check and see if Buell's shard could be imbued with more superpower, but uh. Oh, you know, I guess you're right. But uh, exactly. let's take a ride for old time's sake. Uh, yes, that's right, miss. Ride along with me. <laughs> we are here. It's John the Coach, the kid. This is the War Horse's oh, key. War Horse's key. I thought this is where the Millionaire's key was. Uh, well, there was one. In oh, the Millionaire's key is over where friggin' the Hall of Jeeble Destruction or whatever is, termination. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I gotta go find Warhorse and kill him. Then I'll never get another shot at the AW title. There we go. Definitely missed some some stuff. Uh, another session of just wandering around exploring could be in order, but there comes a point like this close to the end. You don't have a lot of leads on what it is you might have missed, but we know there's like a place where you're supposed to be able to get to this kind of area from the other side somewhere. There it is up there, I think. Okay, that took 76 damage or something from your critical hit. Otherwise, I don't think it cared. Oh, I'm being hurt by the money. Oh yeah, no, you are almost dead. Well, I might want to try this again then, because I was not... I might want to just take a healing item and win on the first try, but it's up to you, I guess. I guess you have to pay attention to what uh, comes up and whether the money is good or bad. You can always eat three or four sponge cakes. Scrumptious. So eggs on rice and amu rice don't give you health? Oh, you're right. It's like, right. 
How much does poison hurt you? I have a feeling that thing's gonna be immune, but I don't know that, so it's worth trying. You could always go for the null ray. It resisted, but it's still doing tick damage. When it can't be damaged, yeah, which it doesn't when it's spinning up. Oh, I see. Lemonade and Nectar are not giving you hit points. Yeah, drinks don't give you. Food gives you uh -huh. uh, HP recovery. Drinks give you... Uh... That literally brought an enemy out. Oh, sure, there's a lot going on. Yeah, in there. this guy's not getting around. I suppose this is like a special boss. Oh, yeah, no, we're going to need to do some planning to get a bunch more healing items hanging around your inventory for the, the end end. There, there is more than one boss in a sequence that you'll have to fight to, to win the actual game. You might want to go back to the lightning thing. That seemed to hit it more than once, uh, luckily enough. Yeah. That's Oculus. Don't give up on me, baby. Alright, so. There you go. <laughs> That's what we got. Unless you have potions, like actual potions, potions. Oh, you know, there might actually be actual potions. Like a high potion. You got a high potion. Okay. I mean, not much. Yeah, also, I'm something. almost out of fairy medicine, too. Imbrued Fang. Also, Jackpot. Use a slot machine to determine the nature of your attack. <laughs> Did give me a demon slain. But more importantly, Lindsay will be pleased. You're the millionaire. Yeah, the potions only give. Like, those fairy potions give you almost nothing at this point because of your level. I think there is such a thing as fairy high potion, but, you, like, you have to make it from multiple regular potions. Similar to making a high potion that isn't for fairies. Well, that seems like something worth saving. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, that was a pretty costly victory, but at the same time, like you said, it's an optional boss that is off the off the table now. It's off the hook, off the shots, rock buster. Exactly. That's exactly what's going. On. And uh, I guess. Well, yeah, no. What? I, I, just, let's just see Lindsay. Let's let's let. I want to see that if you don't mind. I just want to see because otherwise, see until our next session, we'll be wondering what is Lindsay's reward. <laughs> I'm gonna quit my side over. All right. That a bone wart somehow figures out a way to kill me on my way in here. He steals from you your victory over you Millionaire's Fan. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. A oh, gold a power, power ring. Power ring. Good work. Here's your reward. 
<laughs> okay, what's a cool power rank do? Okay. I've heard lately that I don't actually have that much money. Well, and yeah, it would decrease my attack rating. We started spending the, money, but, uh... Yeah. Got any targets for me? Here's what I've I have a feeling that, like, that could be an incredible item if you were willing to do, like, you know, min-max money-gathering techniques, which, uh, has not been a thing, and, uh, let's not worry about it right this minute. Oh, I am sure that people have, and people do. Yeah, here we go. I could also just invest a ton of money and make some food sometime, but, uh, sounds like a story. For another day. For another day. When we come back next time, folks, it will be another day, and we will, uh, probably not the next episode, but it sounds like we may be... Getting close to the end, man. Just keep, keep, uh, spinning those wheels, and eventually we'll get three sevens and win the game. Not, we're in the 90th percentile here. Yeah. So, uh, this is Bobo the Vulture. Mr. SJG, looking forward to a lengthy explanation from Dominique of just what the hell is going on. And this is Let's Play Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.